it's more high grade, yeah. lower volume. Yeah, lower volume, you can weather the storm because you just have those incredible grains. Talking uranium here today with Forum Energy and Rebecca, you've got some great plans ahead for 2024. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be drilling this, uh, this summer, 10,000 meters, hopefully, maybe 12,000, yeah. um, on our Thelon project. So we have 10 and a half million to spend. Mm -hmm. um, so we're really excited to get up there and get some results. What's that? going to um, look like in terms of the overall project? Is that just an initial feasibility study and then main drilling going to be next year in 25? It's going to take probably two, three years probably to drill off Tadagak, but we'll see where we're at. Like we're going to get good, well hopefully we're going to get good results um, and then we'll see where it goes. Okay, and then talking about uranium in general, yes, it's slightly trading under $100 now on the spot market, but overall electrification, whether that's heat pumps or EV, definitely a strong trend. Um, and then safe jurisdiction. So you're in the right spot with Canada, I guess, in terms of uh, North America safe jurisdiction. For sure. I mean, it's all very positive. The supply, like we just need more uranium and the talk of SMRs aren't even included in that. Yeah, I mean, 26% of North America energy production is nuclear. And obviously you would like to source that from a safe jurisdiction. Exactly. And I really, we have the best uranium in Canada, and so I mean, let's mine or let's do it in Canada. Like we, we can go all over the world, but we have a really good jurisdiction. And apart from the jurisdiction, talking about grades, I mean, we know with the gold, it's like one gram per ton is the cutoff rate of copper one percent. How does that compare with uranium, and what kind of grades are we looking at in Canada in general? For the the unconformity deposits, we're looking at you know one percent kind of probably average grade, mm -hmm. but you can get up to 20% mining grade. Um, so it's really special. Uh, and how gold. does that compare to Niger and to Kazakhstan, for example? Kazakhstan, um, you know, you're looking at 100 ppm, mm -hmm. you know, like way lower. I mean, it's a different type of deposit. It's so still, ppm parts per million? Yeah. It's still very good deposits mm -hmm. because of the size mm -hmm. um, and the way you can extract it. But, you know, when it comes down to you know, downturns, they happen. Yeah. You need that grade. So you don't want to be turning over high volume because that also is going to have an impact on your cost of operations. Exactly. So this is more high grade, yep. lower volume. Yeah, lower volume. You can weather the storm because you just have those incredible grades. Yeah. And of course, we don't know what the uranium price is going to look like in the next two to three years. But with the mega trend of electrification and small modular reactors coming into play, bridging the gap of supply and demand on local grid level, yep. it's very likely that we're not going to see $12, $15 on uranium any anytime soon. I sure hope not. Okay. No. Yeah. Great to see you here at PDAC 2024 Forum Energy. Thanks, Arnie.